Hey everyone, John Little here, Sammy at Controls. And we got security walking around, Mr. Morgan. Morgan the Moose, not sure what's going on there. Keeping the riffraff out, I guess. Hey, Community Puzzle Project time again. If you're watching these in order, last episode, we just, uh, we were having a fireside chat and I, I just got so wrapped up with the fireside chat. We did two rows of exports, so now we're going to go right into Photoshop and bring them in. So let's, uh, this is what we've got here. We're going to be working on row three. Take a look at our imagery. Let's make another folder for row four is new folder. There's a Windows 10 device we're working on right now. Got to be way, be able to work on them all for you guys so we can support you in every way possible. Row three is RB2 through C11. Let's go ahead and drop those into three. And these guys, what do you think? Should we drop them in four? Might as well. All right, go ahead and open up three. We're going to do a control A, which will select them all. And grab one of them and drop them down. Okay, now if you remember correctly, this is going to be the first one right there. See, so I get the lines, they all line up. It's, it's giving me guides. Bam. Hit the enter key, that will accept it and bring the next one up. That's the same as hitting the little check mark at the top there. Now, that, cover, that really doesn't look like that fits there, does it? We may have to look at this piece. Let's say B2, C1. It's the right number. Well, let's see what his neighbor looks like. I don't, well, I guess it's going the right way. Just really done different than the other ones, which is fine. We will figure it out. We will meld them in there. You see, next time, the next row, we're going to be sitting right on top of where we're going to have to be going, so it's going to be a little bit trickier. Go back to this, go click that one. These guys are not getting snugged up there yet. We'll have to come back and readjust those couple after we get these guys in. That one, too. There we go. That's good, that's good. This guy's a little low. Just using the i I'm selecting and just moving up. This is interesting. This is interesting. That is row three. Yeah, it's B2. All right. Not much in line there. <clears throat> that may take a little bit of work to figure out exactly what's going on if I got something wrong. All right. Next color, orange, yellow. Okay, we're on number four. Back out one. Control A. If I drop them over there, they still pop up there. This is how the program works. <clears throat> hmm. Why do these not look like they're lining up? <clears throat> Zero, one, two, three. It's, it's definitely the, the fourth row. We're not, we seem to be getting off a kilter here somewhere. And I'm not sure why. I'm going to have to drop him down here so I can still get these other pieces out of here. Well, that's the first one that's made sense. It just seems like 
something is askew. Okay, so we got everybody in here now. Just snug up a couple of these guys. Okay, that's four. From there to there. Comes the green. <clears throat> well, I'm not sure, guys. It just seems like we've got a little askew over here on the left. I'm not sure what happened here. This is close. This, this area is close. I don't know. All right. So that's where we're at. Let's save, save our progress. Done. All right, let's go back to our... Let's see if we get ourselves another row in here. Let's go look at gingers real quick for a second. Well, see, we just did these two rows here. That rock is, that does look funny sitting out there like that. Let's turn this off for a second. I'll take a second to load up because it's over in the cloud. That's a big image. I saved that out as a, as a 36 by 24. I just want to see how some of this goes, is put together. I wonder if I should have done the other image instead of it was smaller. No. They're both are big, big images. All right. We just have to go with our little pieces. Purple. Okay. Well, that's what we did. Now we're up to... Row five, four, five, five, one, two, three, four, five. This guy right here. All right, let's get started. All right, edit. Again, we're using on one photo raw. And why'd you beat? They probably did something I didn't like. Uh, polarizer. Looks like the item to use. I remember last time we found out we have a warm polarizer. Don't get them confused. Looks pretty good. It says our highlights are burned up. Mm, must be picking up that guy there. Let's see if there's anything in there. Bring him back. Well, there's a little bit of in there. Take it back down. Mm, I'll take that. That's pretty good. So we're now working on row five. Arrow key over to the next one. Again, polarizer. And we have to go back and add polarizers to the ones we did first. They, didn't, they, did, they certainly didn't seem like they needed it, those compared to what we're getting now.
That looks good. I don't think I can get that cleared up anymore for you. What do we have over here? Oh, that's pretty good. It's a greenish color. Turn it off for a second. Oh, definitely. Without? With. I think we can work with that. Export. All right. That one looks good, too. I probably just need a light polarizer of anything. Ever so light. I don't think it needs that much. Turn it off. Yep. A little bit. Looks good. Got good tones. We'll take that. Hmm, polarizer once again. Not the warm one. Oh, that helps. Got good water action in there. Yeah. Something's burned up. I don't probably some of these highlights, but I think that's okay. From the wave action. We create a later from the okie dokie. Why are you telling me that? Do we do something different? Oh, I must have hit the wrong key or something. We're in B4. Yep, that's what we want to be. Okay. Looks like we are a little warm, so let's cool it off a touch. I'm thinking about like, yay. And then let's go ahead and give it a touch of polarization. Mm, that looks pretty good right there. All right. That yeah, looks like just polarizer. Oh, all in all, I think you guys have done a magnificent job on this. This, is, this was a challenging one. I do have a couple more in mind that I'd like to try. That looks a little warm, so let's go ahead and cool it off a touch. Now, one of them, I'm going to have to, we're going to have to ask people if they want to participate, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a photograph. I'm going to tell you what I want and what underpainting to use, and then just give you a part of the photograph and, and have you paint what you see. That's pretty good. Uh, Tone-wise, looks like it wants a little bit brighter. Let's see if we can bring up some of the highlight. Oh, that helped. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed doing this. I, I'm really sorry this one took so long to complete with all the stuff we had going on. It just got away from us. Yeah, it just looks like polarizer there. And like I said, we, I have told many times during the YouTube shows, I have found a different way we're going to enroll people into this. Instead of just arbitrarily giving a person a piece, we send out a, do you want to participate email first? And you got 
48 hours to respond from the time I sent it, not from when you read it. Now, if any of you want to participate again, go ahead and throw your, head, your hat back in the hat again. Put your, put your name back on the list again. Just by going back to the community, that's a pretty one, communitypuzzleproject.com. I don't think I need to do anything. Just export that one out. And I'll put you in the queue again. Interest has died off pretty quickly because we've taken too long on this last, the second one here. So you may be able to get through again pretty quickly if you want to do it again. Hmm, look a little warm to you? Looks a little warm to me. Cool it off. Ooh, maybe not that much. Let's go about there. Get the contrast up a little bit with a polarizer. Tonal wise, we look pretty good. Highlights are burned up, and that's that section over here, which I don't know what that is. That could be her crop line. So that one, that one may have to be recropped. That's all right. We can do that. That was number nine. Got two more to go. That looks like just polarizer to start with. Let's see what we're working with. In the good old days, you had to put a polarizer on your camera to do this. You don't get the same full effect, but it sure does do a lot. It says there's a hot spot. That's that hot spot's going to be up there, and that is pure white, and that is almost pure black down there. So, I think that's what we got. One more. We'll see if we can slip this row in. We should be able to. Again, we'll start with the polarizer. You can see the glare on that one right off the bat. And full strength. So quite a bit down in this area. I can't do much with that. How are we doing tonal wise? Pretty good. All right. They look a little warm. Might be a touch warm. Sometimes you just go to the far extremes and then fine tune it to where you think it should be. And you can always come back to it. Or we could also play with it over in Photoshop too. All right, that is the last one in this row. So we'll put another row in. You guys have got to see three rows put in. That's pretty special. All right, what we need to do now is hide row one. Let's see, how are we gonna do this? What we need to do, somewhere in the middle is where that guy, other way, that one, and that one, because I think that's where we're gonna land the pieces in. All right, go down to number five, sit on number five, and bring up our folder from there to there. Drop it in. Yep. Now this, okay. Okay, that is not the right part number. These aren't coming in the right order. So we're just gonna have to bring these in. Because I'm looking at the numbers over here. And it started with number six. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this one really belongs. I can't do anything until I get these guys all in, so. 
Let's just get him in. We're going to have to rearrange him. Which we can do. I don't know why they didn't come in the right order. And should be it. Okay, so I'm running out of room. All right, let's go ahead and turn these guys back on. And go ahead and close up that folder. Okay, where is number zero? It's right there. I guess I highlighted here. I'm going to use my arrow to find out where it is. It's this one. So if I click on that one, we'll move that one out of the way. Click back on this one, and there is number one. And that makes more sense. This is upside down. That's got to be upside down. Maybe not. I don't know. All right, number two. Number two, number two, which is number one. Let's start at zero. There it is. And then this one. That was close. And three. Hmm. Really? That's two. That's three. That's interesting. And this one's next to that one. Okay. Now we have to find... Wait a minute. Where's five? That was this one. Okay. And then six. Okay, that's that one. Let's get him over here. Get over there. Okay, that's six. That's eight. When it's highlighted, I can see it get highlighted over there. And the, oh, wait a minute. That's a four. If that's a four, do I have two fours? No. Who are you then? You say three. That says five. This is four. Zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. You there, you there, you there, you over here. I knew that. Now that makes a little more sense, but those guys still don't look like they're in the right spot overall. All right. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Six, eight, seven. Ooh, that's that's a close fit there. Who are you? Nine. That's a nice fit. You're 10. And you must be 11. All right. Two rows left. This is very interesting. Let's blow this up big. And Control O. That puts it in the screen. Control S will save it. Well, that's what we got so far. This is definitely a challenging piece for you guys. So I think I can conclude that Ginger's paintings would be very hard to uh, counterfeit. <laughs> I think they'd be next to impossible. That's interesting. 
All right, that concludes this video. Um, you guys, we got two, is it two rows left? Let's go back to on one for a second. We just did that one. Why do I have an extra guy down here? Ugh. Am I not filtered? <sighs> did I do that not filtered? Oh, did I? Uh oh. I still have an extra guy though. Why? B6, C11. Nope. We have. Wait a minute. Let me close my window here. Nope. We still have an extra guy. Three. Th we had two threes. Oh, that made a PDF. That, that made a. Uh, that's the one that got screwed up when we were doing things. All right, so we're fine. I panicked for a second. Yeah, now we're good. All right, back to where we should be. All right, two rows to go. Last two. Trying to get them done, hopefully later this week. Bye, everyone. Any comments, suggestions, put them down below.